Hey guys, in this video I'm going to tell you guys how to force YouTube to give your GoPro footage the best quality possible so the people watching can have the best experience possible. You need to watch this whole video all the way through because if you don't you're going to miss important information towards the end and you're going to be leaving comments down below saying I can't make it work, it's not working. The whole point of this video is to answer all the frequently asked questions I get about the first video I made. So make sure you watch this whole video before asking me all kinds of questions and I hope it helps you. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Why Does My GoPro Footage Look Like Crap Once I Upload It to YouTube, Part 2. This episode is going to be frequently asked questions that I get on a daily basis. If you haven't seen the first video that I made on this subject, you should go back and watch that first. That can be found up here somewhere. Now there's a bunch of questions that I get all the time. People saying, what I told them to do doesn't work, they can't make it work, and stuff like that. So I want to address these questions so I don't have to keep answering the same questions over and over. In the first video I explained there's two different codecs that YouTube can encode your video with. There's AVC.1 and VP09 or VP9 as we call it. AVC1 looks bad. VP9 looks good. If you're a small creator you don't have a lot of subs and you don't have a lot of views chances are YouTube is going to give all your videos the AVC.1 codec and all your videos with fast motion are going to look bad because of the compression codec. So what we need to do is force YouTube to give our videos the VP9 codec. And how do we do that? We do it by uploading a resolution that's greater than 1920 by 1080. So if you're uploading 1080p videos and you don't have a lot of subs, you don't have a lot of views, and you have GoPro footage in your video, it's going to look terrible. That's just the way it's going to be. So what I do personally is I export or render out all my projects from Premiere Pro not at 1080p, but at 2560 by 1440p. Now you can also just render your videos out in 4K and it's going to have the same result. If you have the space in your hard drive to store all these 4K videos. If you're editing your videos on your phone and you don't have an export uh, preset or export option to do anything above 1080, you need to stop editing on your phone. If you're using software on your computer and it doesn't give you the option to export anything above 1080, you need to get rid of that software. So if you want to make this work, you need good software where you can upload or you can render out 4K, 1440, all these high res projects. That's what you need to be able to do. Now another question I get a lot, I did what you said but my video is still only 1080 and it still looks like crap. So what it seems like is happening is you used to be able to upload a 1440 video and then like 15 or 20 minutes later you could look at your resolution options on YouTube and you'd have everything from 360p all the way up to 1440p or 4k or whatever resolution you uploaded. Doesn't seem to be happening that fast anymore. So sometimes I'll upload a video in 1440p and I'll check it eight hours later and YouTube is still only showing 1080p as the, the top resolution, as the maximum playable resolution. This just means we have to give it more time. I don't know why this is happening, but the process of converting the files on the YouTube side is taking longer and longer. So I've been scheduling my videos like a day in advance and a lot of times when they go live they still don't have 1440. Sometimes it takes two days now. Now the other thing people are doing is they're uploading videos in 4K and they're putting them on private or unlisted and then they're trying to see if the quality is better. But a lot of times if you leave your video on private, YouTube's not going to do the necessary stuff to get it up to the good quality until it goes live. So if you're putting your videos on private and you're not getting good results, make your videos live and check them later that day, check them the next day, don't delete them. Check them a few days out to see if you have that 1440. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is come to my channel here. You can see some of my videos. And we're just going to click on one of these videos. I'm going to click on the most recent video. And you can see here, I uploaded this video in 1440. So if I click down here on this, you're going to see your resolution options. Do I want 144, 720, 1080, or 1440? That's my highest resolution. So the way that you check the compression codec of your video is you right click right on the video and you go down to stats for nerds and then you're going to see this pop up. You can see three lines down. It says 2560 by 1440 and then the fifth line down it says codex VP9. So this is a 1440 video with a VP9 codec. 
Now, if I switch the resolution to 1080, you can see it says 1080, and then it also says Codex VP9. But if you have a small channel, you're likely not going to have this VP9 on your 1080 videos. Only once your channel starts getting bigger does this seem to happen. But you can see here, an older video that I uploaded in 1080 only, not in 1440, still says AVC1. Um, and this video is from 2017, so this is never going to get the VP9 codec. Most times, YouTube is not going to give your 1080p videos uh, VP9 codecs. So if you go through your list and you see uh, 1080, 1440, oh, I'll check the 1080 version. You click 1080, that one is generally going to still look bad. So the only way you're going to see the benefit of using this is if you're actually choosing 1440 or if you're using a device that's like 4K compatible. So if you're checking this on an iPhone, I have the new iPhone 12, it won't play 4K videos. Okay, so when I play my videos on my iPhone 12, it's playing the 1080 versions and it looks bad. If I try to play YouTube off my uh, Xbox One, the Xbox One is not 4K compatible. So the highest it can stream is 1080. So if I play my videos or watch YouTube in general on my Xbox One, I'm going to be watching 1080 versions and any fast motion is going to look like crap. Now if you have a lot of views, you have a lot of subscribers and you're a bigger channel, sometimes YouTube will start giving the 1080 versions, the VP9 codec, and the, the 1080 ones will look good. So my channel is growing and a lot of my 1080 videos are in VP9, but that might not be the case for you. If you're a smaller channel, your 1080 versions most likely are not ever going to have VP9, which sucks, which means if someone's watching your videos on an iPhone or an Xbox One or something like that, they're not going to see the best version of your video. It's just not going to play for them. If you're watching YouTube on a Chromecast Ultra, which is 4K compatible, or you have a smart TV, which is 4K compatible, it's as long as you have enough bandwidth, enough you know, fast enough internet connection, it's going to try to play the highest resolution version. And I notice a huge difference if I use my Chromecast Ultra because it automatically plays the 4K versions and everything looks, you know, everything looks really awesome compared to my Xbox One. So it's not a perfect solution, but as long as someone's using um, a newer playback device that's 4K compatible and they have enough internet speed, they're going to see the good version of your video. But there's a lot of people out there who still have bad internet and they're not, they're used to seeing bad quality videos. I mean, before I had cable internet, I was watching everything in 480p, so I couldn't tell if someone had VP9 or AVC1 because it was all blocky all the time anyway. So if you watch my first video, you saw how to make, so if you watch my first video, you saw how to make your videos have the VP9 codec and you're trying it and it's not working. Follow these additional steps there that I just told you. Make sure you're using a high quality um, program that can render out 4K or 1440. Make sure you're waiting long enough for YouTube to process it. A day or two sometimes. You might get lucky, it might be a few hours you might have the high quality version ready to view. Um, so you might want to uh, upload your video a couple days in advance, schedule it. Uh, but sometimes that doesn't even work. Sometimes you schedule it and the video goes live two days later, it's still the 1080 version. And then you have to wait a little longer before the good one is published. But I hope this helps you guys out. I'm tired of answering the same questions, so I'm just going to start pointing people to this video. And if this helped you out, subscribe. If you like dirt bike content, you know, this is a dirt bike channel. Uh, I just started sharing this with people because it took me so long to figure this out. I thought other people should know. But this is not a tech channel. This is not a channel about video quality or filmmaking or anything like that. This is a dirt bike channel. So subscribe if you like dirt bikes, but don't expect to see stuff like this all the time. Peace.